Kind of feels like deja vu. I'm sure I've done this before. <clears throat> yep. Definitely not coming back here anytime soon. Holy shit, how long was I in there? It's three in the fucking morning. We had a party in, uh, in Vault 101. Um, okay, so that side quest is done. I can do picking up the trail, but what I kind of want to do is I've got a couple of locations on my world map. Uh, Gerda Shade is a place I've not discovered. And I also have, I have no idea what Temple of the Union is, but I also have Canterbury Commons. What I might do is I might do a couple of the main story quests, and then I'll go back to doing a little bit of exploration, I think. In the meantime, let's be lazy and quick travel to Megaton. I can drop my stuff off, and I can have a break, you know, I can have a little nap. That quest was sick. Can't believe I've never done it before. Again, I think every time hey, I've done the start, I've always killed Amata's father. Just because I'm a bastard. <laughs> nice. I love doing this as well. I like doing quests. And, you know, little side quests as well and exploration. And just keeping some of the unique armor and stuff. Know what I've decided, children. I'm gonna start up Let's just see what we've got right. here. Do I have any... Now, join? Good, you got no I've got choice. quite a lot of shit to sell, actually. <laughs> yeah, I've got a load of stuff to sell. Anyway, let's have a little nap. I think I've seen... Sn no, I haven't seen Snatch. Wait, have I seen Snatch? I think Snatch is the one with Brad Pitt where he uh, he puts on like a pikey accent, but I've not seen it. I've seen clips of it, I've not actually seen it though. I have seen Rock and Roller, which is another movie by Guy Ritchie. That was okay. Rock and Roller was okay. I've, I've never seen Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels though. Apparently that's meant to be very good. Well, I mean, to be fair, I prefer a martyr Here, over her father any day of the week. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Okay, thank you. Bless you. Hey, what can I get you? Okay, nice. Jenny's got some caparinos. Let's get rid of that. What other junk do I have to sell? I'll give these purified waters to Mickey outside. You know, you can never have enough good karma on this game. Excuse me. In fact, you know what? I've not actually got that much junk to sell. I actually don't have that much junk to sell. Enjoy. Remember us if you need something. One thing I do need to drop off, sorry, I'm just going to have to nib back to my Megaton home. I've got too many stealth boys, and I think they weigh a key each. Yeah, they weigh one. I'll put three away, I think two is enough. If I'm ever in a really shitty spot, basically saving them for that. What's next for the black feminist? Scorch. I'm not gonna lie. Don't fuck with Shaniqua. She's got full on power armor now, boy. She's had training. 
Alright. She's a feminist and a half as I should need with. Oh hey! Kinda busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's oh, up? Oh nice, Max. Nice. What do you need? Nice. She has some ammo. Mm, I think. Do I need any more stim packs? I'm sure I picked up a load of stim packs in Vault 1. Yeah, I've got loads of stim packs. Uh, I don't really need to sell anything else, actually. Good hunting. Scrap metal and the waters. That's all I need to get rid of, and then we're good to rock and roll. Um, huh? Yeah. What is it? I know. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Maybe there's a mod that fixes it gold standard. But you know what would be sick? Like, this is... This kind of makes sense to me. You open the vault, and they kick you out for a couple of days just to get their heads around things, you know, get themselves sorted out. And then what would be really sick is, you know, a martyr maybe will meet you in Megaton with a couple of the Vault 101 dwellers and stuff, you know, and you can catch up just to see what things are like. And then, you know, you can go back to the vault and the vault has changed, they've cleaned it up, they've bought in stuff from the outside, you know, it looks unique. They've made the vault their home, but also they've opened the door. Like, I think Bethesda had a lot more stuff, like, they could have fleshed it out a lot more, basically. Hello. I need to be a fucking game designer. I swear to God, I think about everything. <laughs> Yo, Mickey. You saved my life. No worries. I have loads of water. Essentially thirsty, Mickey. You've helped me so much. I'll never forget you. you I... Oops! Oh, shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just sorry, I didn't. Away. Mickey, Mickey, I've got loads of water. You, I, I... I think that's it. I don't have any more purified water to give him. Nope. Oh, that karma whoring. <laughs> it feels so cheap, but so good. I seriously, I, I'm probably like the Jesus of the wasteland now. Yep, Hero of the Wastes. Nice. Um, okay, so... One thing I forgot to do, guys. I, I promise, this is the last time I'm going back into Megaton. I'm going to get healed. And I'm just going to check my workbench for, for chems and stuff. Because any time I come back home, I always make something to basically sell. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty sick standard. Nice, I didn't know that. I hope things are going well for you today, madam. There we go. Time is it? 1:19 p.m. That's not too bad. what I'd like to speak with you about. What's this I hear about power consumption actually increasing? We both know that's not an option. We've been over this. A slight modification to one system and all the subroutines go haywire. Don't worry, I'm on it. 
Ooh, Dr. Lee's up and about. Let's see if she's recovered. Nope, she's still not recovered. Hey, hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah, so listen, thanks and all. Really great job you did there. Okay. Hey there. I saved this guy's life, by the way. No thank you, no anything. And I have work to do. Listen, thanks for getting us through that. I'm not stupid. I know we wouldn't have made it without you. I'm sorry about your dad, and I'm sorry I've acted like an ass. Nah, we're cool. Great. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Yeah, sure. Why so ever. so he can't do anything for me. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, he can't do anything for me. That was pointless. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Giant robot to fix, hmm? Hail. Hail to you, daughter of James. Okay. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? If you're just a part of the Brotherhood, where's the rest of it? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast. It exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Why are you here in, this, in the capital wasteland? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. I feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. How long have you been here? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. So be it. Hmm. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. What more did you want to know? I've already asked all those, haven't I? So be it. Okay. Anything you can tell me about the super mutants? Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Hmm, I'd like permission to trade. This is not normally something that we do. Trade with outsiders has proven to be problematic in the past. However, considering the circumstances, so be it. I'll send word to Durga that you have nice. full access to trade. Sweet. I wonder if she's got any speciality items. That was the one that basically told me to fuck off earlier when it went down. Um, so what's the deal with the robot? Ah, yes. Everyone asks about the robot. Hard not to, I admit. His name is Liberty Prime. Very patriotic. Built by a very proud nation during a very desperate time. We've had about as much success getting him working as they did. You should speak with Scribe Rothschild. He can tell you more. Okay. Of course. So, Scribe Rothschild is obviously right next to him. Um, before I talk to him, I want to go down. Welcome. 
just to see if I can trade with that woman. Problem is, I can't remember which door it was. Uh, it was a door that I think went even deeper into the underground. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more ammo, I think. Ah, here she is. I received word from Elder Lyons. He says that you have permission to trade with us. Good for you. Nice. Can you repair my gear? If you want to pay for the parts, yes. Oh, God. Her repair skill's 17. I'm done. See what you have for trade. Sure. Just be quick about it. Okay, nice. I need more 5.56 five, rounds. I need more 4.4 four rounds. Um, surprise she doesn't actually have any power armor. I think what I'm going to have to do is get my repair to at least 95 and then I can mix and match what armors I can repair. Yeah, I'll have to do for the time being. Another satisfied customer. Steel be with you. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment? My father was looking for something called a Gek. Do you have one? A Gek? Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Hmm, so you know where to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Okay, thanks for the help. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. See, now... I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to right now. If you find the computer to be helpful, there may be more I can offer. I think these guys... I think was it Dad or Dr. Lee that said don't tell them everything? Even though they're technically the good guys, but I remember the last time I played this I pretty much just spilt my guts to them and they didn't do anything bad, so... Yeah. Um... Smoke weed every day! God, I need to change that font. Dazza the... Dazza the Ranger, I think that says. Dazza, thank you for the follow, buddy. Much appreciated. God, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't read that GTA font. <laughs> Brad, thanks for watching. See you later, buddy. Um, I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. I want to know Rothschild's relationship with Dad. You know, how he knows of him. If they were scientists or something, or if they were working together. I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. Okay, why are you the wrong person to ask? Predominantly because the Elder won't like some of what I have to say. But fine, I'll discuss it. What do you want to know? Why are you here in the Capital Wasteland? I've got a feeling he's going to be more honest than the Elder. Well, that depends on who you ask. Lions will tell you it's because we're protecting the poor, innocent people of the Capital Wasteland. Most others here will tell you the same thing. They'll do anything for that man. Well, I'm asking you. Why are you here? I'm here for two reasons. One, Lyons needs me. He always has, just as much as I need him. We've been through a lot together, he and I. Two, take a look around you. 
Access to this kind of technology and the benefits it could provide to the Brotherhood is immeasurable. Hmm. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Not really. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. I don't know why this is still highlighted. What? Hold on, have I missed something? Ah, here we go. How long have you been here? We arrived here in 55, established ourselves in the Citadel within the first few months. The Elder has kept us busy since then. Okay. Are you in charge of the, uh, robot? I am, and have been since we first found him well over 20 years ago. Liberty Prime is the designation we found on file for him. Magnificent, don't you think? At least he will be once all systems are operational. It's the energy consumption. Something that big with such advanced weapon systems. Uh, we just don't have the means to power it. Not yet. Okay, do you think you could repair my equipment? Could I? Yes. Will I? No. <sighs> Go see Peabody or Bo This guy. Damn. Who built Liberty Prime? Or better yet, why? He was developed as a super weapon back in the days before the war. The first joint operation between Robco and General Atomics International. Apparently, he was meant to help liberate Alaska from the Chinese, but was never completed. They were forced to go in without him. They won, but suffered heavy losses. If we can get him up and running well, I think you get the idea. Okay. Don't hurry back. Right, let's go and have a look at these archives then. Uh. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time. Okay, clearly it's not that terminal then. He said it was in the A wing as well. If I remember right, I think I'm in the totally the wrong place. I think I've got to get out of here. Problem is, again, I'm not sure where I'm going. Welcome. The Brotherhood is. Well, let me service. activate any of these as well. Apparently, that's uh, bad karma, and I'm probably going to get fucked for it. Okay, let's get out of here. Will I be play playing the Broken Steel DLC? Um, I don't know yet, Harry. Again, I already know the game's story, but with the amount of crashes I've been having, I've got to say, today, um, and I mean, I think you've seen the majority of these Fallout 3 streams, but today has actually been really, really good for the crashes. I've only had a couple. Like, again, this is when I love the game. You know, where it's getting really immersive and I've got no crashes. Like, I'm getting really, really into it. What I want to do tomorrow, though, I might play something else. I want to go on my Steam library and play a game I've never played. Because, again, I don't really want to binge on Fallout that much. You know, as much as I love this game, I kind of just want to play this and maybe another game in between. We'll actually sit down like a civilized human being, and then we'll have a look at the computer. <laughs> oh my god, new Nikes, why? Why are you singing that? Fuck that song. DC area vault listings. Ah, oh, nice. I'm assuming this is going to plot all the vaults, or at least most of them, onto my map. Excuse me. Access restricted. Good. Oh. Huh. Vault 87 redacted, redacted. Oh, well, would you look at that? Gek. Nice.
God, this game. I love this game. Ah, Vault 92, musical instruments, recording equipment. Now, I remember a side quest on this, where there's a woman in a small shack with a violin. As far as I'm aware, you need to bring her back the Nost... Oh, God, what was the name of the violin? I can't remember now. Not, I, I'm probably got this all wrong. Nostradamus or something like that? Or Str Stravardis? I, I can't remember. But you bring her that back and I think music notes, and I've actually picked up one of the music notes already from somewhere. Can't remember where, so that's another side quest right there that I could potentially go and do. In fact, you know what? Actually, you guys remember. Please remember when I talk to the lady with the violin, please remember Vault 92. <laughs> and remind me, because I'll forget. Uh, Red Orchestra 2 tomorrow? Maybe. I kind of want to play a single player game again. And everything is restricted. I'm assuming that for every single one of these vaults, the project goals are going to be restricted. I'll try them anyway. Just to get as much info as I can. Yeah, everything is restricted. Dr. Albert Leris, Psychological Research Department. Hmm. Hmm. Everything's been redacted. Vault 106 is another one I need to visit. I know this is probably like super boring to watch but I love the history on some of these vaults. Essentially what they've done is again like I said earlier some of these vaults are pretty much just experiments just to see how people would cope under different circumstances. I love how they've done it. Holy shit Vault 112 has got a hell of a lot of robots. Okay. Oh, Dr. Stanislaw Brown. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, I remember the doctor. I remember the doctor well. In fact, I remember fucking up his whole system, too. <laughs> 